guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a beach trip packing guide. Of course this doesn't have to be for a beach, it could be any warm destination or just any summer trip in general since summer is right around the corner. So feel free to take this as a reference, as a guide. Um, obviously if you're going to be going for longer than like three to five days you might want to pack more clothes than I show you here. Feel free to toss in a lightweight dress or romper. Those always just make it really easy to get dressed because the number one thing I think of anytime I'm about to go on a trip is is, oh crap, what am I gonna wear? So I'm gonna show you guys some outfits that I actually mixed and matched for this recent trip and pretty much everything else that you should or may want to consider packing. Let's go ahead and get right into it. For shorter trips, a weekender bag will suffice. Let's start with the clothes. So I know I'm gonna want a pair of denim shorts. We're going to the beach. Just deciding what bottoms I know I'm definitely going to pack actually really helps in this instance. And I also know that I want a pair of longer pants so that in case I get cold, you just gotta have them. And then I wanted also a dressier pair of shorts. It could be a skirt, it could be a long skirt, maxi. I decided to go with these cream lace shorts. As for tops, I looked at what's kind of beachy, what's lightweight, what's flowy. So these were the three different varying tops that I grabbed. I went with a little bit of a color scheme. We have pink, blue, and off-white or cream. Of course, you could also stick with basic tops or neutrals to keep it really simple. But if you want to go the route that I did, consider packing neutral accessories such as your shoes, which we will get to in a bit. The overall goal is to be able to mix at least one or two of the pieces and then you are good to go. I also make it a point to at least have one long sleeve or one light jacket and a chambray is just a go-to for me. Now if you're going to likely be hitting up the beach or lounging by pool, pack some bathing suits. I have a couple that I could interchange the bottoms for and then you may want a cover-up. I decided to just grab the scarf that could double up as a cover-up. Don't forget your sleepwear and of course your undies and at least one pair of socks just in case you get cold. Pack a towel if you may need one. And now onto our shoes and accessories. So as you can tell, I went with a bunch of neutral tones since I packed more colorful and patterned clothing. So I decided to keep everything simple, the accessories dainty, the bag neutral colored as well. Next, we have the items that help us get ready. Let's first take a closer look at what's inside the toiletry bag. You've gotta have your SPF for your face and body, hair products, and I also have my glasses. Also need products to help remove your makeup, such as face wipes and cotton rooms. Do pack samples of items such as moisturizers or even perfumes to conserve space. One of my favorite items would be this little mini razor. As far as makeup goes, I pretty much grabbed what I would wear as an everyday look and even products that I could use my fingers to apply just to keep my brushes minimal. Last would be the items that you would want quicker access to. An additional tote or larger bag is great for if you go shopping or if you need to take it to the beach and put your necessities in. Of course, you also want your camera and phone to document your trip and all the memories. I also always have my little go-to pouch, which usually has my lip balm in it or pads if it's that time of the month, my phone charging cord, and just items like that. Have additional bags to put your shoes in so it doesn't dirty up the rest of your stuff. Possibly a hat to shield your face from the sun. And the proper identification such as a passport if you're traveling outside of your country. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a ton of fun to make. If you guys are going anywhere fun this upcoming summer or just anytime soon, let me know. Share with me down below. The trip that I am most looking forward to this summer is Spain. I'm going to Spain in July. We're going to be hitting up Barcelona and Ibiza or Ibiza. And I am just so ecstatic. I can't wait. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys stop by again soon. Do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.